guys and welcome back to my channel. In this week's interview we have Becca Parkinson who is the engagement manager at Comma Press. I hope you find it useful and enjoy. Hi everyone, I'm Becca Parkinson. I'm currently engagement manager at Comma Press. Comma is a small not-for-profit independent publisher. Um, we're currently an Arts Council national portfolio organisation, specialising in the short story and fiction in translation. We publish around 10 to 12 titles a year and we're currently a team of four and a half. So for me, every day is different. My job encompasses a lot of different departments um, or roles. I could one day be working on social media, scheduling content and taking pictures for Instagram. And then the next day I could be compiling sales reports or updating um, advanced information sheets or catalogues. And then the day after that, I could be recording our podcast. It's an incredibly varied role, as you can kind of guess from my job title. So I did a BA in English Literature at Lancaster University. At the end of my degree, I took part in a, an internship scheme that was funded by Santander within the university, within the Faculty for Arts and Social Sciences. So it meant that I could undertake two paid internships over the summer after I finished my undergraduate degree. And I was actually planning to go on to do a master's in publishing um, in the September of that year. But I was very lucky that my second internship, which was at Comma, resulted in a temporary contract at the end of the internship. And then by that Christmas, I was offered a permanent contract. So yeah, I'm very lucky to be one of those people who had an internship that led to a, a full-time role at the end. My family are self-employed, they have their own business. Um, I was the first person in my family to go to university. I had, I had no publishing um, connections, no family link or, or network that I could use to get this role. So yeah, that was, that's my background. Before I got this current role, um, I'd done a little bit of um, editorial and events management sort of roles at university. So, what, so while I was at university, I was a student ambassador for the English department, but I also edited two uh, magazines on a voluntary basis. So that gave me lots of kind of great experience in terms of reading submissions and organising readings and Speaking at those events, you know, public speaking can be quite um, important in, in publishing. And then I guess being an English student, as, as many of you will know, you learn a lot about reading and writing. And, and then honestly, the rest I've learned on the job and from those two internships that I undertook. So, so my first inter internship being at Carnegie, which is a, a publisher based in Lancaster. Like I say, where it's, it's a small team and my role has been incredibly varied. I've learned a lot. You know, I, I, I've taught myself how to use a lot of different programs and portals and that sort of thing. You can learn a lot just by watching YouTube videos, um, <laughs> as I've learned. I would say it's definitely important to talk about transferable skills. You know, you, you feel you have skills that suit that job that you can bring in from another sector or a previous job or just your undergraduate degree like I did. I'd say enthusiasm is always important for any job, but especially publishing, it's full of friendly, enthusiastic people. And it's important to be enthusiastic about what you do when you're creating campaigns and selling books to, pe to other people. And I also think an awareness of what's going on in the sector is quite important, whether it's engaging with marketing campaigns that other publishers are running or trends in the industry or the kind of headlines of the bookseller that week I think it's kind of important to be kind of plugged in switched on to what's what's new what's current what's important the, the issues Homer is very much a publisher that responds to current events it's always good to have an awareness of what's in the headlines and what the kind of current social political issues are I remember when, during my undergraduate degree going to quite a lot of careers talks about publishing um, because I knew I had an interest in the sector just because I love books and reading it's definitely not the industry it's often 
painted to be from the outside so you know nobody just sits around reading submissions all day unless they're very lucky um you know it's hard work but it is an industry that's full of incredibly friendly people I think I was misinformed when I was an undergraduate I think I was told it's kind of about who you know not what you know and it's about you know using your connections to get a foot in the door and as an undergraduate that terrified me because like I say I had no connections I had no background in the industry I had no links I think I've I've realized that that's just not true it's always good to get to know people in the industry beforehand and the good thing about publishing like I say is that everyone is friendly so you can approach them you know dm them on social media or send them an email and most of the time they'll get back to you and be really friendly and helpful but it's not all about who you know it's about having the skills that that job is looking for that publisher is looking for um and that enthusiasm that I said is so important so you know if you're like me and you're currently a young aspiring publisher don't feel put off because of your background you know publishing definitely needs to become more accessible and more transparent this is such a hard question um <laughs> I, I thought about this for a while and, and I decided that I would say um, Atonement by Ian McEwan just because that's one of the books that really like ignited my passion for reading um, I just adored that book it's one of the books that I always recommend if anyone's looking for like really good literary fiction for me anyway 